Hi, uh, my name is Subramanyam. I'm currently doing my master's uh, in Big Data Science at Queen Mary University of London. And this is about my dissertation on the topic of a uh, comprehensive study of CNN architectures and deployment models for tuberculosis detection using serverless computing under the supervision of Dr. Sukhpal Sengil. As we know, the medical field is seeing a surge in imaging data, especially chest x-rays. The sheer volume and need for quick, accurate diagnosis uh, demands efficient tools. Uh, but here's the catch. We need these tools to run effectively without always relying on heavy computing. Also, interpreting these images is not always straightforward. Subtle differences can be easily missed and that's where technology steps in. As you can see on the screen, the distinction between a normal lung and one affected by tuberculosis might seem minimal to the untrained eye but uh, they signify life-altering differences for the patient. Addressing these challenges, our initiative evaluates the performance of three advanced uh, neural network architect architectures such as DenseNet 201, VGG19 and MobileNet V3Small on uh, just radiograph datasets. And uh, further, we are also exploring the deployment strategies uh, that balance computational efficiency with precision. Uh, by bridging these gaps, we are not just aiming for technological advancement, but more importantly for enhanced patient care and accurate diagnosis. Let's uh, delve into why the study is so important. From a medical perspective, if we can quickly and accurately diagnose tuberculosis using chest x-rays, we can start treatment sooner and potentially saving many lives. And this isn't just a theoretical claim. If you look at the graph here, you can, see, you can see the relationship between age groups and the percentage of TB patient who tragically didn't make it. So by this you can say that early diagnosis is the key. Now from a tech angle, we have two main focuses. First, by using transfer learning, we can work smart, not hard. We harness the power of established models, skipping the need for huge computational efforts and it's efficient and cost effective. Secondly, how we deploy our solution matters. Whether it's server-based or serverless can impact how fast it works and how well it scales, directly influencing patient care and user experience. The right choice here can make all the difference in practical settings. There is a significant amount of research dedicated to diagnosing lung disease, including the likes of COVID-19 and pneumonia using advanced deep learning models. The table displayed here provides a snapshot of various studies in this space. Notice the column of deployment strategies and scalability. Except for our study, they all have a glaring X mark indicating a miss. The deployment and scalability of these AI models in real world scenarios are left unexplored, which can be a roadblock in their practical application. This is where our work differentiates itself. We go beyond the algorithmic performance. Our focus is also on the serverless deployment. We explore the power of Amazon Fargate combined with EKS and cont contrasted it with more traditional Amazon EC2 approach. This dual focus not only ensures the model efficacy in diagnosis, but also its seamless integration. So now focusing on our approach to uh, model training and evaluation, our methodology revolves around two phase strategy, uh, feature extraction and fine tuning. Uh, what's special here? This approach isn't just an innovation. It's a strategy inspired by the cutting-edge techniques detailed in the research by Sadia Shokar and Kureshi in 2022. So uh, let's begin with the first phase. So this feature extraction is based on the pre-trained models come with a wealth of knowledge from uh, uh, any external data sources, uh, such as in this case, ImageNet. We tailored their final layers to cater specifically to our binary classification task. So what happens is we freeze the pre-existing knowledge of these models, making sure their foundational learnings remain unaltered as we train. During this part of the training, our training regimen lasts for 15 epochs with a learning rate of 0 0.01 in Adam Optimizer. Uh, and we even use model checkpoint callback and uh, tensor board callback as callback functions in our more uh, during our uh, model training so the second phase is fine tuning uh, 
we uh, in this we unfreeze some top layers of our model and train these layers again aligning them more closely with our task uh, we introduce a much slower learning rate of 0.001 to avoid any disruptions in the foundation knowledge of the model this transfer learning methodology of feature extraction and fine tuning allows us to train the model with less data and less computational uh, requirement after selecting our best model uh, we need to implement a deployment strategy and here we have two deployment approaches for our uh, model which is a, a server based approach and serverless approach so in server based deployment uh, imagine a scenario where a user uploads an x-ray image for analysis using the server based deployment the image reaches our machine learning model hosted within the fast api application on amazon ec2 instance so FastAPI uh, is an efficient and user-friendly Python framework uh, was crafted to build APIs. Seeking enhanced scalability and manageability, we delved into serverless deployment. In this strategy, our application along with our uh, ML model is encapsulated into a Docker container. So Docker here is a tool that allows us to create and run our application consistently across different environments. With our application dockerized, we deploy it using the synergy of uh, Amazon uh, EKS and AWS Fargate. EKS aids us effortlessly in deploying, scaling and managing our application. Meanwhile, AWS Fargate removes the overhead of server management, completing the benefits of EKS. A Kubernetes load balancer is our gateway to the internet. When a user uploads an X-ray for analysis, this load balancer efficiently directs the request to our model in a container. After analysis, the prediction zips back to the user from a user standpoint and the experience is seamless regardless of whether we are use a server or a go serverless. So this serverless approach uh, helps us handle more incoming traffic requests and makes the prediction faster. When analyzing uh, machine learning models, particularly in critical applications like medical imaging, it's paramount to understand the metrics that determine their performance. Binary accuracy measures correct predictions and VGG19 excels at 86.33% while the loss causes prediction error uh, where uh, VGG19 is indicating closeness to true values. And IOU evaluates prediction overlap uh, which is vital for precise image segmentation and precision recall balance false positives and negatives. And uh, also VGG19 shows a harmonious F1 score of 0.8641. Together, these metrics underscores VGG19's uh, suitability for medical imaging. So based on the performance metrics, the chosen model for further deployment is VGG19. Uh, let's get into the performance uh, evaluation of uh, both the deployment uh, strategies. So table 2 here uh, discusses about the EC2, EC2 T3 medium VM server and table 3 is AWS serverless Fargate and EKS uh, performance metrics which both, both have been under different levels of concurrent user request. So in table 2, server-based EC2 T3 medium, as you can see, the response time grew linearly as concurrent user request increased. And in terms of throughput, maintained a consistent rate ranging from 12.0 per minute to 15.7 per minute. Uh, also, an error rate of 0.50% was recorded at 400 concurrent requests this points to potential capacity challenge at higher loads. Uh, next table three uh, shows us the performance uh, metrics for serverless Fargate, uh, serverless uh, Fargate and EKS. In this case, you can see the adaptive response uh, showed by this approach. That is, it shows a flexible response with rising concurrency. Up to 100 concurrent requests, response times were effectively managed. And uh, beyond 100 concurrent users, the error rate is increased, peaking at 34.67% at 300 users. However, this may be a function of inherent system limits or configuration. Despite the errors, there was a demonstrable ability to auto scale. This is evident that higher throughput rates, peaking at uh, 21.3 per minute with 300 concurrent users. This suggests that the serverless setup can handle increased traffic by auto scaling resources. So in Conclusion, the EC2 to medium setup offers consistent throughput and response time up to a certain limit. Its linear performance scaling might face challenges as user load increases. 
The serverless architecture utilizing Fargate and EKS demonstrates intrinsic elasticity and adaptability even when facing challenges at elevated loads. The initial response times, which may be influenced by cold starts, can be optimized. Embracing serverless solution offers the promise of uh, managing surge in user requests, capitalizing on their uh, dynamic scaling capabilities. Future efforts will focus on optimizing serverless configurations to further reduce error rates and harnessing machine learning advancements to enhance prediction accuracy across various deployment strategies. Thank you.